Carol. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am finally doing a video I really wanted to do for 13 Days of Halloween because it's just one of my all-time favorite, favorite scary stories. Stories, I guess you can call it. And it's Dear David, which I'm sure a lot of you have already heard about, or if you haven't, I'm really excited to share it with you guys, If you, especially if you haven't heard about it. Uh, Loie Lane did a bunch of videos. She'd do like updates every time that this updated, which I'll explain in a second. And she also did one final video of the whole entire story. So I'll link that down below. And I'll also link down below the actual guy who created this story's Twitter down below too. So Dear David is a viral Twitter scary story. It was this guy, Adam Ellis, who started tweeting about the paranormal things happening to him and this story about a little boy with a dented in head that was haunting him. And he started giving all the updates on Twitter in real time and it just went completely viral. And yeah, I'm just gonna read. I'm gonna kind of condense it. I'm not gonna read every single tweet. So definitely check it out either his Twitter or Loey Lane's video, she did the whole entire thing. Um, definitely check it out because there's probably going to be some videos and stuff that I miss out, so definitely check it out on your own, but this will just be the little condensed story, which is actually good to do because now we found out that this is going to actually be a movie, so maybe this will kind of prepare everybody and get you excited for whenever the movie does come out. I think some company just bought the rights to it, so hopefully they'll start filming it soon, but it, yeah, again, because it was happening in real time, it gained a lot of traction and quickly went viral. Um, people found out that Adam Ellis, the writer, is a comic book artist, and he's also an ex-BuzzFeed employee, so that kind of gave it away that this might actually just be like a alternate reality game or just kind of a story to kind of self-promote or maybe now, you know, this was all just a story to get excited for a movie, but it actually really never had an ending. He kind of just stopped tweeting about it and now his tweets are just like normal stuff besides the tweet that he put out about it becoming a movie. Um, yeah, they just kind of stopped, which I'll get to the ending in this story, but yeah, like I said, I'm just going to kind of condense it, and let's just get right into it. Sorry for my, like, pauses and stuff. It's been a while since I filmed, so just bear with me. <laughs> so, the first tweet from Addis Ellis, Adam Ellis, excuse me, was, that was August of 2017. He said, so my apartment is currently haunted by the ghost of a dead child, and he's trying to kill me. He started appearing in my dreams, but I think he's crossed over into the real world now. And then he shared a cartoon, comic-style drawing that he did of what David looked like to him. The first dream Adam had, he was having sleep paralysis and saw the little boy sitting in a green chair across from his bedroom. In the next dream, he met a little girl who told him that that little boy was David, who came at midnight. She told him he was allowed to ask the boy two questions as long as he said, Dear David, before the question, and as long as you only asked him two questions. If you didn't say Dear David or you asked him a third question, he would kill you. The next night, he dreamt again of the boy, so he asked him, Dear David, how did you die? The boy answered, whispering very quietly, an accident in a store. Next, Adam asked, Dear David, what happened? David whispered, a shelf was pushed on my head. Then Adam asked, who pushed the shelf? No response. Realizing his mistake of not saying Dear David and accidentally asking a third question, he woke in complete fear. Adam searched to see if any such accident happened in his town maybe a long time ago, but he couldn't find any news or anything about it. He ended up moving, which this is kind of, I still don't remember why, I think maybe because it was bigger, but he ended up moving to the upstairs apartment where things actually quieted down for a while and he thought maybe, you know, David went away, but then David found him. 
And that's when Adam started to document and share all the paranormal events that followed on his Twitter via text, photos, videos of strange noises, objects falling, moving on their own, his panicked cat's behavior at midnight, horrendous dreams, and other strange things that began happening in his day-to-day -day life and mainly at his home. One of the first occurrences was when Adam had this bizarre dream where he was inside an abandoned warehouse and saw David sitting silently in a single chair. The next day, while walking to work, I think it was to work, just a block or so from his house, Adam passed an old warehouse, and usually the door was closed, but the door was open that day, and when he looked inside, he saw just a single chair sitting in the middle of the warehouse. A few days later, the old warehouse was com again completely closed up and blocked off. So next was his cats. They began acting extremely weird, exhibiting extremely uncharacteristic and bizarre behavior. They would stare at seemingly nothing, startle really easily, and meow uncontrollably at the door every night at midnight on the dot. Things started off with just simple things like that, but quickly started escalating. When the noises, dreams, and Kat's odd behavior really started going, Adam bought one of those nanny cams, and he put one in his living room and one in his bedroom. This is when he caught the first video of paranormal activity at his home, and this tweet and video is what went viral and brought in an audience of thousands who started waiting nervously for the next tweet, as well as all the skeptics who tried to debunk any and everything he posted. <laughs> so, August 28th, 2017, his tweet says, got some motion detector detection alerts tonight. So I watched the feed, saw nothing, still nothing a second time, but the third time I finally noticed something. Watch the chair. And I'll insert a video right here. About a half an hour later, I got another motion detector alert. He sat on his hind legs like that for almost 10 minutes straight. This is, is, uh -huh. this is extremely odd behavior for my cat. So I could, I know, I need to stop doing that. I can't do a mouth pop like, no. Like Shane Dawson does them perfectly. But anyways, back to the story. Excited to get away, Adam went on a trip or a vacation to Japan. He was hoping to get away from David at least for a little while. The nightmares did stay away while he was on vacation. However, while on a walk in a park in Japan, he ended up seeing this statue, and it was of a mom and some babies, and the statue of the baby looked exactly like David with a dented in head. One night, Adam dreamt that David was sitting, sorry, sitting in the chair across the room. Oh, now you can't see me. Here we go. Joys of filming in a really small spot. <laughs> One night, Adam dreamt that David was sitting in the chair across the room again when he actually got up and approached the bed. When, da when David reached Adam's bedside, he instantly woke up in a fright. In total fear, he checked his camera roll Oh wait, I think I missed a part. Oh yeah, so in his dream, he started taking photos to prove that the boy was real, kind of. So when he woke, he actually checked his phone camera roll and he saw that he actually had taken photos that night. But even more terrifying, he did take photos of David. This was when we first saw David and also was when people really started to become like divisive about the whole story. Half of the people dissected every inch of the photos that I'll insert, and the other half really started, including me, started to freak out and become even more interested, believing that this was a true life horror movie playing out in real time. So this is when the story went like super viral, gained news coverage, 
and articles. People started making YouTube videos and updates. And it sent Adam into, like, an online celebrity status. He even became verified on Twitter, which we all know is a big deal. <laughs> Critics, others, and including myself, we did notice that once he did start getting fame, he really started pushing his Instagram and his upcoming comic, I think it's comic book, but his upcoming book. So a lot of people thought that maybe this whole, like, Dear David thing was just a publicity stunt, pub uh -huh publicity stunt to kind of push his other projects that he was doing but you know what even if so like you gotta do what you gotta do to make a living these days so but even if the photos are fake they still scare me 100% even while I was picking them up to hopefully edit in this video just looking at them and the photos that I'm inserting I brightened them up on his Twitter, they're really, really dark, so a lot of people brightened him up too, so hopefully you'll be able to see him better, but they freak me out, even if they are fake. <laughs> a little bit later, Adam then began hearing noises coming from above his apartment, which was weird because he's in the upstairs apartment. He looked around and he ended up finding this, like, hatch to, like, a little attic that, that he's drew it out and he's thinking that the attic's probably like a couple feet you know just like a little crawl space I guess um he ended up buying this super long pole from Amazon which he was like complaining that he was waiting for it forever and he finally got it and he used that to open the latch and he actually filmed himself doing this if you want to watch it um it's in one of his tweets but he pushed it open and something fell down and he realized he picked it up and it was a very very old leather child's shoe which is just uh, creepy so after still being constantly harassed by the boy in his dreams he downloaded an app on his phone that takes pictures every minute I think it is or like twice a minute so that night he set up his phone to face him and his bed while he was sleeping the first few nights showed nothing but eventually David was back and the photos that he found in the camera roll the next day are absolutely terrifying and I'll insert them right here Again, this is really when people started to become skeptics. They thought it was a doll or photoshopped, which it could be. We don't know. But, you know, they are really grainy and dark. But either way, the pictures are terrifying. <laughs> a little bit later, Adam went to Montana for the holidays. I think, yeah, so this was almost about a year ago. He went to the holidays. To he went to the holidays? He went to Montana for the holidays to visit his family. He was hoping, again, to get away from David. While he was there, he kept seeing small figures and, like, shadows out of the corner of his eye. He was just too tense to in even enjoy family time. I think he had some nightmares while he was there. And one day, he actually looked out the window from the room he was staring er, staying in and saw little child footprints in the snow outside of the room. When he got home, he once again started having all these horrible nightmares. In what ended up being the last dream he shared with us, he had dreamt of David actually hovering over him and then he, like, standing at the foot of the bed, and then he jumped and landed right on top of Adam. That was the dream he had. He screamed himself awake and went and checked the camera roll and found this photo. So this dream actually led a lot of people, including myself again, to believe that that was maybe David like going inside of Adam and actually possessing him because after this tweet about that dream, Adam began acting really weird kind of on Twitter. He There was like a series of tweets later, like the next few days of just gibberish and just really weird stuff. Then there was also these creepy videos, which I'll insert one after this, of his cats just meowing at like the door and meowing at whoever is filming, 
but the videos are from like the floor point of view, almost like if you dropped your phone and it just started recording. So I'll insert that right here. But yeah, it was just really weird. And in a final kind of strange and omni omnious, I guess you could say, tweet, which was kind of like his last tweet about Dear David, on February 14th, 2018, he tweeted, please don't worry about me, I'm okay, and soon everything will be like it was before. So, we don't know what he means by that, but yeah, that's kind of where it ends. Uh, after a long break, he did finally come back to Twitter, but there was no talk about Dear David at all, except for the recent tweet where he, where many of us, rightfully so, predicted that he announced a production company had bid and won the rights to make Dear David as a movie, which I'm really curious if they're going to use his tweets and photos and footage and stuff like that, or if they're going to make it more of a fiction based and have someone play Adam and kind of go that route or if it's going to be more of a like documentary style movie. I'm really curious what they're going to do with it but I'm guessing that might also be why he kind of like stopped the story so abruptly because he didn't want to like give spoilers or ruin the movie possibly because you know he doesn't want to give away the ending I guess if it is going to be a movie but like I said earlier, this really makes everybody, including myself again, think that this was some kind of like publicity thing to get hype for the movie. You know, I've heard of other movies doing this. They'll like, like The Purge and stuff, they'll make these Twitter accounts and start this like alternate reality game and just to like get hype for the movie, if that makes sense. So. If that's what he did, it definitely works because I, at least for one, am so excited for the movie. I can't wait for it to come out. But yeah, what do you guys think? Do you think this was all just some publicity stunt or do you think this is actually real? I mean, this would be crazy if this is real. We really watched this whole thing unfold right before our eyes in real time. and It's just crazy. I love this story so much and I wish there was more updates. So <laughs> hopefully the movie comes out soon. But I know this really <laughs> was really long, excuse all my stuttering in it. I hope you guys liked this story. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and let me know. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until then, stay creative and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.